few seconds. And I think we are live. Hi, Yuchen. How are you doing? Uh, I'm good. Just woke up. Uh, not sure if I... Uh, yeah, I mean, brain not working yeah. well at this moment. How about you? <laughs> uh, well, mine is about to get fried because EmacsConf is a very taxing process. And I can tell you, uh, we could have a race to know who is mo more tired right now between you and myself. But <laughs> I guess we'll find out at the end of the Q&A. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. And thank you for uh, uh, how late or how early I should say is it for you right now? It should be like six a.m. or something. Uh, it's uh, seven forty-five, but I normally get up at like eight thirty or something. Right. Okay. Well. Anyway, thank you for the sacrifice just to answer some of our <laughs> questions at Emacscon. Not at all. All right. So I'll be displaying the questions. Uh, I'll be. Let me just maximize this on the stream so that people can read everything on my screen. So what I'm going to do, Yu Chen, as usual, I'm going to start reading the questions on the pad. I'm going to ask Sasha to open uh, the Q and A. I yes, it's already open. Cool. So if you want to join us, people, uh, feel free to uh, click on the link on the talk or on IRC to join us on BBB and to ask your question. Otherwise, just leave them on the pad. All right, Eugene, starting with the first question. I like the idea of using org mode to display data from the web. Are there many different packages that, does not, that do not, I assume? I'm newish to Emacs, so maybe this is obvious to everyone else. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a little complicated to specify what is it to display data from the web. Uh, just reading it like this, I'm reminded of uh, Adam, uh, Arthur Papa, I mean, uh, code all capture web, which technically captures the web and allow you to embed it in the page. But is it really displaying data from the web? Are we implying live transmission? Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I suspect the question is asking, like, um, uh, having Emacs as a, a client that's sort of uh, getting data from the web and then display it in Emacs, like uh, using API or using uh, web scraping. Um, so uh, um, yeah, like uh, like the HA reader uh, package or like a few packages uh, you mentioned in my talk. Yeah, that, that's right. a good question. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I, I really don't know. Uh, how many? Uh, so from my experience, like I use, maybe I use like uh, no, uh, ten less than ten packages that uh, do these things, uh, and among these packages, maybe it's half, half, half of them use or half of them don't. Um, so you mean half of them are org based? Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah, but that's like very. That's just uh, based on the packages I use. Yeah. Right. Uh, OK. Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't done a survey about this. I think it's OK. You don't need to have all the answers. I mean, you already demonstrate a lot of competence in your talk about all the things you approach with your particular setup. So you don't need to have all the answers. OK. All right, moving on to the next question. Have you tried EAF, i.e. the Emacs application framework, and its browser? If yes, what is your opinion about it? Oh, I haven't tried it. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I try to remember why I haven't tried it. Um, uh, the it has a browser. Uh, I, I assume the browser mm, executes JavaScript by default. I have to check. Ah, Emacs TAF. Slash EAF browser. Um, it's also okay if you want to have a look later, and you know, whenever you want to report yeah. to the pad, you know, you can write a little blurb about it. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. So yeah, I, I know right. about EAF, but I haven't tried it. Okay. Well, that's already an answer. That's cool. Um, yeah. We're going to move on to uh, a question that is a little bit off topic, but uh, is, I've also been interested about your nickname on IRC. Uh, this is not really relevant to the talk, quoting the question, but I'm curious about your nickname. Do you have some connection to Norway? 
unique indicates an interest in the architectural style inspired by the decoration on Viking ships that was popular in the early 20th century. Because Dragostil, I assume Norwegian, is dragon style. Are you familiar with this? Yeah, it's just, uh, uh, it's like my favorite architecture style, I think. Um, uh, I mean, I, I lived in Sweden for like two, uh, one half years and uh, um, yeah, I went to Norway once and uh, I saw like this church in um, Lofoten Island, on Lofoten Island. Right. Uh, yeah, it was amazing. Um, so yeah, so, that's exactly why I, had, I chose that as my nickname because it's uh, my favorite architecture style. I think. <laughs> Okay, well, that was a very astute remark by the viewer. So I hope uh, you feel validated in your um, assumptions. Uh, moving on to yeah. another question, um, Yuchen, do you have any thoughts about Next, about its same, its approach, its relevance? About what? About Next, the browser N Y X T. Ah, uh, uh, Next. Yeah. Um, I, I have tried it. Uh, well, I mean, it's not. Uh, it's not Emacs. Uh, it, it's kind of similar. Like I think it tries to do something similar to Emacs, but um, the the problem with Next uh, is like very early on, I encounter an issue with key binding. So the first thing I want to do is to uh, make it like to make all its key bindings Emacsy. Um, so that's uh, obviously. Um, um, so what was the problem? So yeah, I couldn't even do that. I thought I, I was expecting that it could uh, there, there shouldn't be any issues with uh, uh, setting up whatever key binding you want. So I, I the um, the issue was that uh, when I try to do when I try to bind Control S Control R to uh, the prompt uh, going up and down. So I, I use um, I. What I complete, and I'm yeah. I'm used to like uh, control S and control R to um, go to to cycle through the selections, and so I I want I wanted the same in uh, next uh, in its prompt like when um, for example typing a URL and get completion from history, uh, but it has a conflict with the uh, uh, it, and also, uh, I what I try to bind um, like the hint. So, like when I want to follow a link, uh, um, so I, I press a hint key, and then like all these um, links are highlighted with the uh, like little letters that I can like choose which one I want, which link I want to follow. So I I, I try to bind that one to J. Uh, Sort of like control uh, control C control J in off mode, uh, uh, but apparently there's a conflict here. So when I do both this uh, prompt mode binding and uh, the, like the document mode binding, uh, yeah, the the prompt no longer works. Uh, and I reported the bug to Next, and. Uh, the, yeah, and I th there, there was response, but uh, there are so many bugs, th bugs there, and uh, I don't think that bug is very high priority. Uh, so, yeah, I, I basically stopped trying that because <laughs> key writings are very important to me. <laughs> um, right, yeah. but uh, sorry, please finish. Uh, yeah, so I mean. Um, yeah, you, I mean, uh, yeah. Without key bindings, I can't like. I I I I I I, I won't. So okay, I feel this is a like a very basic functionality. So like without yeah, key bindings, but I, I'm kind of reluctant to continue trying like what they are. No, but I, I, it reminds me of two points. So yesterday with Stefan, we were talking about same defaults, and when he was sleeping today, we talked about it again with a speaker. We did the mentor. Uh, talk. You feel free to rewatch it afterwards. But um, it, it's funny how, you know, regardless of how big the package actually is, 
you know, they always provide some kind of sane default. And with Next, obviously, it's built with a Vim mentality, mentality and uh, modality of, uh, of key bindings. And for us, who are more used to the Emacs way of doing things, it's a, it's a complete blocker. No matter how great the pieces of functionality behind Next are, just the fact that UX-wise, we cannot get into it or we cannot have it behave nicely with what we do. It's a massive blocker that is preventing appropriation of such tools. So it might seem very basic to bounce a package at the level of key bindings, but that's what we all do. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. Um, right. We are if I can just interrupt, we have about two more minutes of question, and I see people oh, uh, are writing yeah. more questions. Did you want to add something, Sorry. Eugene, on what we're saying? Uh, add something? No, no, no. Let, let's continue. I, yeah, I, I thought we had right. plenty of time. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you to be quick about this one. I'm going to read the question, which is slightly long, and you're going to have about 30 seconds to answer it. Do you feel capable of this? Yeah, let's try it. That's right, at least right. Okay, so quoting, I find the JavaScript trap almost impossible to avoid since I like to buy used stuff online and used, uh, use my online bank. How, to, how do you deal with a JavaScript trap? I use no script and compromise on a few things I really feel I cannot live without. EWW is nice for a lot of things, especially with R for less noise, but I need Firefox for those GS and trapped pages. So do you have a quick answer to this? Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I don't have a good answer, but I have a quick answer. So I use uh, <laughs> I, I use VPN and uh, uh, like a, a more what do you call it? Move out the the Swedish uh, VPN browser, move out browser. Uh, right. Yeah. So I unfortunately I have to use JavaScript in these cases as well, but I try to minimize the use of these things. Right. How long do you think it will take for us to save the world with Emacs, or save the web at least? Uh, five years, 10 years, maybe a little less than this? Um, well, I think it's, unfortunately, it's probably independent of Emacs. Like, it, it will only be saved when, like, it's saved on the, like, the normal, the more popular browsers, like Firefox. Um, yeah. I, I have no clue how long it will take for, I don't know, for like, for example, a toddler to pick up and so that you can buy, buy things without running JavaScript. Right. Well, I guess we'll have to cross our fingers then for Firefox to save the world. All right, Yuchen, we are about out of time. We're moving on to the next one yeah. in 20 seconds. Thank you so much for your presentation and for waking up early and answering the question. And I can tell you, you were very alert and definitely more energetic than I was. <laughs> Thank you. Right. All right, bye-bye, you Chen. See you later. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. And moving on to the next talk right now. You are currently...